Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, just praise him tonight. Get in an atmosphere of praise. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is moving. The Holy Spirit is here. This is the day of a miracle for you. Amen. When is the day for a miracle? Every single day you get up. This is the day. Amen. This is the day. Amen. This is the day.
lift up those hands, God is going to do something supernatural for you tonight. Oh, praise you, Jesus. When you're up against a wall, and your mountain seems so tall, and you realize life's not always fair. You can run away and hide, let the old man decide, or you can change your circumstances with a Brother Mike's daughter 
to Vanderbilt Hospital with a liver count into the thousands, talking liver transplant or she wouldn't live. And I talked to him on the phone as he was on his way, and he said these words to me, it is well. <laughs> it is well. And you know what today? She's alive today. Hallelujah. Didn't have to have no liver transplant. The Lord healed her. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when you're in a desert, you just got to lift your hands and praise Him anyway. Sometimes when you're in a desert, you got to just lift your hands and praise Him anyway. Hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands and praise Him. Hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands and praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just praise Him right now in the midst of a desert. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And your mountain seems so tall, and Hallelujah. you realize life's not Hallelujah. always fair. But Lord, your mercy. You can run away and hide. Let the old man decide, or you can change your circumstances with a
praise. Hallelujah right now. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is moving. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is moving. Hallelujah. Create an atmosphere. Hallelujah. What is your atmosphere? It's where you're standing. Amen. Create an atmosphere. Hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Create an atmosphere. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, hallelujah. We create an atmosphere tonight, Lord, hallelujah. We're creating an atmosphere tonight, Lord, hallelujah. Come on, create an atmosphere right where you're sitting tonight. Right where you're sitting tonight, hallelujah, hallelujah. Right where you're sitting, hallelujah. Even if you're in a TV audience tonight, create an atmosphere of praise, hallelujah. Right where you sit, hallelujah. Right where you stand, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise. To
destroy your family. throw his hands up and quit. But he didn't. Hallelujah, lift your hands up. Hallelujah. I'm desperate for you. If your family needs a turn around tonight, I want you to come and stand in this altar. for him. And God put my spirit 
let Isabella go and rain, lay hands on it. Isabella, do you remember that? When we went and laid hands and anointed that property with Brother Mike. Do you remember that? She don't remember it. We did. It sold for $350,000. Not a whole long after that. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. But you're going to know what to do with that. Boy, I feel the Holy Ghost so strong. The Spirit is of the Lord is upon me because He's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Hallelujah. Set them that are liberty and liberty them that are bruised. That's not my words. That's the Lord's words. The yoke shall be broken from thy day because of the anointing. The yoke shall be broken from thy neck because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Boy, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Guys, will you come over here just a second? Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That, uh, that yoke is broken tonight. In the name of Jesus, that yoke is bro broken tonight. Off thy neck. In the name of Jesus. That anointing, hallelujah, shall break that tonight. Lord, I speak release. Devil, did you hear what I said? I speak release. In the name of Jesus. The pressure in that neck, hallelujah, is broken tonight. Jesus, like Lord, I thank you for the anointing that shall break the yoke. And she'll break it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Keep him lifted up right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am desperate for you. favorite pastor? You. Yeah. Okay. Sure, I hope so. <laughs> Besides Jesus Christ, you and your mother are the best things that ever happened to me. Did you know that? God changed my life when he brought you into it for the best. The first time I held her in my arms, in the hospital, Julie said, why don't you tell her who you are? Because I was just looking at her. I was just mesmerized by how she looked. She was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my life. And she was sound asleep. And I said, Isabella, this is your father. And she opened up her eyes and looked at me. And she already had my heart before then. But boy, really, she had my heart then. And besides Christ, her mother and her, the greatest things that ever happened to me. What does Daddy do over here every single day when we're going out the door to school? What do we do? What? Pray. Pray. We're going out the door. Praying. We're going into school praying. Come on, amen. Amen. She's on the A honor roll. Praise for the midterm. The, the grades hadn't come out at the end. But she was on the A honor roll at the beginning. Come on, amen. amen. So praying over your kids works, church. Amen. Lord, touch this ear in the name of Jesus. And Lord, touch it. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I thank you. That healing's going to come forth. And Lord, I thank you right now. In Jesus' name, we're going to call it done. And we thank you. Amen. Amen. Give him a hand clap of praise right now. Amen. It hurt. It hurt. Say, I believe God will heal me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. I love you. My 
Do you need to quit looking in the rear view mirror? Do you need to quit looking in the rear view mirror? Because if you're looking in the rear view mirror, your eyes are off your future, you're going to have a wreck. Spiritually, if you look in the rear view mirror, your eyes are off the future. And God is in the future. He's not in the rear view mirror. Amen. He's not in the rear view mirror. I get tangled up looking in the rear view mirror sometimes. That's why they tell you not to text and drive and do all the because you're distracted if you're not looking ahead. Don't be distracted tonight. Keep your eyes on the Lord and the high call. Sister Tina, will you come up here? Hallelujah. Keep your eyes on the Lord and the high call. Christ Jesus. I will worship you. You see this woman right here that's just full of the Lord too. Sister Donna, I'm telling you this too. Her husband died how many years ago? How many years ago? She thought about holding her hands up quick. She never know that by looking at her, would she? Because she's not a quitter. And she didn't quit. But the devil tried to just give up. But she's still here today. She's still here today. Because she didn't throw her hands up and quit. Don't quit. Because your greatest reward is a hand. Is in your future. Your greatest reward is in your future. You have to receive it in here and let it get down in here. And if you get it in here, it'll get down in here. Lord, in Jesus' name. Ladies, come over here and touch her and put your hands in Jesus' name. Lord, touch her tonight. Lord, there's no, don't, don't let us look. It's all right to look in a rearview mirror, but Lord, let us be focused, number one, on the future. Let us see you in Jesus' name. Because if we're looking to the future, we're looking ahead. We see what you've got in store for us in Jesus' name. Lord, we see that. We praise you for it. Hallelujah, Lord, we call it now. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I praise you, Jesus, and I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you're moving. Lord, I command it. And I thank you. And I lift you up, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I lift you up, Jesus' name. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go lay hands on Ashley's pillow tonight. She's still staying with you? She going on the road with you? Lay hands on her pillow. And speak that God speak to her in the midnight hour. Because she's heard the audible voice of God before. And she needs to hear it again. She needs to hear the voice of God again. And before, did she sleep in the same room with you? Well, try to get in the room. Lay hands on our pillow. You don't have to have a 30-minute prayer session, but get your hands on our pillow and speak God in her life. To speak to her in the midnight hour and let her hear the voice of God again. And I believe it's going to shake her into reality if she can hear the voice of God again. In the name of Jesus, Lord, everybody lift your hand to the Lord move on Ashley tonight. Jesus' name, Lord, touch her. Lord, speak to her. We command it. Lord, we call it done right now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Lord, this situation that Sharon and I talked about before church, let it stay continued like this. Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now. That, Lord, you've heard her prayer. You've heard Brother Jack's prayer. You've heard my prayer concerning this. That you've removed any obstacles in the pathway. In the name of Jesus. And it's removed, Lord. And we thank you right now. Lord, in Jesus' name, we thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Come on, lift him up right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We want to. Yes, Lord, we want to see you. Hallelujah. The next 30 days will be some of the most intense visitation that you've had with God. David said, early in the morning, will I see thee? You're an early riser. You're an early seeker. And God is going to speak to you. And God is going to speak to you audibly. And God is going to speak to you distinctively. In the next 30 days will be some of the most intense time of fellowship that you've had with God in the past. And you've had some awesome time. Because Tina, this is your season. And when I walked in for God spoke to me, season. This is your season. Hallelujah. You have waited for it. You've sown for it. You have been a blessed person your whole life. But this is your season. This is your spiritual season. And Lord, I thank you. And I praise you. And Lord, we're calling it done right now. In Jesus' name, we thank you. And we praise you. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. I love you so much. One of my favorite scriptures is John 14 and 1. And I'm speaking this to you concerning your family. And I don't know why that I'm, I'm saying that. I don't know why family is in my spirit. Well, it's the Holy Ghost. Amen. But John 14 and 1 says, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe also in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He said, if I'll go and prepare a place for you, I will return and take you and get you. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know what God has to do to get some around you's attention. But he's getting ready to. And contrary to, he, he does have a Holy Ghost two by four. Come on. I mean, you know, sometimes we need a Holy Ghost two by four. I mean, you know, sometimes he uses it. Does he ever use it on you, Bert Conway? I don't know. But if the Lord has to get out the Holy Ghost two by four, let's just call it a six by eight or something. Amen. Amen. Two by four won't do. Let's call it a six by or six by eight. Come on. Is there a six by eight, Mike Duncan? Eight by eight. Or eight by eight. Ever how big it goes up? Amen. Put a tree. But I said, let not your heart be troubled. Your heart don't need to be troubled today. I don't know what, but it don't need to be troubled. But I'm speaking to you tonight that the peace of the Holy Ghost is going to pass around about you and cover you. Everybody lift your hands up to the Lord in Jesus' name. Touch, Lord, from the top of her head, the soles of her feet. Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you. And I praise you, Lord, for your anointing. And I thank you, Lord, that our heart will not be troubled. This winter, you don't have to worry about making ends meet. God said, I'm going to bless you in abundance. Amen. The bakery's off four days, and you're not going to miss a beat. Come on, amen. amen. You're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're off four days, lift your hands up and say hallelujah anyhow. Because every need's going to be met. Amen. Lord, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Let it be blessed. Let it go forth in Jesus' name. I praise you right now. In Jesus' name, we call it up. Amen. Hallelujah. Barbara, where are you at? Why don't you go back and sit down? You didn't know I had a good memory, did you? No, I didn't know that. I can remember some things. Amen. Just not loaves of bread and things like that at the store. I'm so glad that God introduced you to our church. Amen. You are too? I'm so glad that he introduced you to us. 
You're a part of a wonderful family. Amen. I can tell you that with the utmost confidence. Her mother is a fantastic woman. And I know you're not, you were kin to her through, you through Mary. Amen. But you still call her that, right? Amen. Say that again. Amen. How long have you and your husband been divorced? 35 years. Woo! And you know what? Her and her ex-husband still speak to each other. Still have dinner and family gatherings sometimes. Amen? Is that a used to go with us? And you don't hear that very often. Is that not right? But I believe in God. I just want to touch her husband. Amen? I believe in God that he's going to touch you. God's going to run through your family. They're going to see something in you, and it's going to get a hold of them. Amen. Amen. And I'm glad to meet Brother Tommy. Amen. And I hope this is not the last time I see Brother Tommy. Amen. Brother Tommy, you got a home here, brother. We'll love you to death. Or to life, as Brother Larry says. Amen. Amen. You're here for life or death. Amen. Amen. Until the Lord comes. Whichever. Amen. Whichever comes first. Amen. But we love you, brother. Amen. God touch her family. And use her as a tool. And use her as a witness. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you. And I praise you. And Lord, use her as the spark that gets it going within her family. If we got your family going, we could fill up the other half of this church. God, use her to do it. And use her to bring it to pass. In Jesus' name, we thank you. We exalt you. And Lord, we're calling it done right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I love you. Amen. Good to meet you. Amen. Meet you this morning back tonight. Amen. God's moving. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Anybody else need prayer that I missed? Amen. He was a glory mover to this family. Lord, move on glory. In Jesus' name. 
any oppression, anything that seeks to come against her. God, we take authority over it right now in the name of Jesus. We bind it, arrest it, take authority over it. Jesus' name, Father. Lord, let her call her Father. Let her have a good report. Let her talk how good she feels. And Lord, I thank you right now in Jesus' name that it's according to your word, Father. And Lord, I thank you that it's broken tonight. In Jesus' name, I praise you. Lift you up right now. Hallelujah, we thank you. Give the Lord a hand clap. Die for me way back on Calvary. I thank you.